Right? <laughs> Perfect, and we're done. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bethany and today I'm going to teach you how to do this DIY mermaid Halloween costume. So first we're going to place fishnets over the head of either yourself or your friend. And using some face paint, you're going to sponge on the base coat of your mermaid makeup. And then using some eyeshadow, you really just want to load up your brush with as much powder as you can and just kind of gently press it on so that you're not moving the fishnets and then you don't mess up that kind of scaly look that we're going for. Um, you are going to want to use a lot of different colors with this. I went with kind of a watercolor effect and then you're just going to lift that off very, very carefully and make sure that you don't smudge it and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Then for the eyes, I went with a very similar color palette and I did a smoky eye with blue in the inner corner and dark purple in the outer corner. Uh, you really want to go dramatic and dark with this because you want to draw a lot of attention to the eyes and the face since you're going to be having a lot of attention on your face anyways. And I used a lighter blue on the bottom lower lash and yeah, it looks really good. My friend Natasha's reaction to the makeup, it's really cool. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> that looks so cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm like a real princess. Then taking some liquid liner, you are going to create a wing and using some mascara, of course, because we all want dramatic lashes, right? Hers are just so naturally long, it's so not fair. We went with a grayed out lip on this look and then applied some MAC lipstick on top of it and here is the final makeup look. Doesn't that look amazing? So now for the costume part of the DIY. It's super easy, don't worry, and it looks amazing. So you are going to need some white craft paint and a sponge brush as well as a visor. I chose blue because that way it blends into the background of my kind of glittery kelp. So you want to cover that in white paint and then you're going to shape it into this kind of tiara shape. I don't really know how to describe this shape, but it has a little bit of a point at the end. It looks like a tiara. If you want to recreate this exactly, we got this glittery kelp stuff from Michaels and it was actually in the Christmas section, but what you're going to do is you're going to use some hot glue and adhering the kelp to the visor, but you want to work outwards from the tallest to the shortest and this goes by pretty quickly and then we use it as a neck piece and then put an extra piece of kelp in her hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you all. Bye!